It takes an hour and a half for this truck to blow 60,000 pounds of flour into our silo. The baker will call for 375 pounds of flour, and that gets blown in and a secret ingredient is added. New York City water. The mixture is about one pound of water to every two pounds of flour, so the water is very important. To that, we can add ingredients like cinnamon and raisin. So when the mix comes out, the baker cuts a chunk of dough and places it on the conveyor, where it drops into the chunker. The chunker has two never-ending blades that cut strips of dough very evenly. The pieces come out of this extender belt and go under the pressure plate to gently start them rolling through tubes, so they come out this side, formed. This machine is called a reciprocator. It has an electric eye, so it lays the bagels out in pre-programmed patterns onto the boards. The bakers do a quick visual inspection and remove any rejects. Then we wheel these racks into the proofer, a controlled warm and humid room that lets the dough relax and rise. It kickstarts the fermentation process and allows time for the dough to take its shape. After that, the bagels go into the retarder, which is basically a refrigerator where the dough continues to ferment, but at a slower rate. This gives the bagel that great flavor. After cold fermenting, we bring them into this proof box to bring their temperature slowly up to near room temperature. So we've made the dough, but it's a great oven that turns the dough into great bagels. Here they drop into a hot water bath. Each bagel is submerged a minute and a half. When you boil them, it gives the bagel that crispy shell. Here's the cedar. Everything, onion, poppy, sesame, and other seeds get dropped onto the bagels. They go through a dryer and into a real steel-plated oven. They're in there for eight minutes. It's direct fire on the bottom and the top, which gives that classic bagel shine.